Good evening, everybody. This is John Scarborough. We've got one last steer for this year. Uh, has not been sold yet. Hasn't uh, nobody's put their name on it. And then we've got one mama. She's an older mama uh, that's for sale. They're both grass-fed, grass-finished, uh, and they. The benefit of the older mama buying an older mama like that. The reason we're selling her is because she no longer cats. Um, and the benefit to that is that she's going to be cheaper, but she's still grass-fed, grass-finished. She's a really, it's a really, really good way of putting grass-fed, grass-finished beef, super, super quality beef, in your freezer. Now, the downside is you're not going to get uh, really good steaks out of them. I wouldn't suggest uh, even getting the steaks. I would suggest grinding them into ground beef. Make some of the best ground beef you've ever had when you grind those steaks and all that up. But everything else is good. All of your roast, you know, you're still going to get your chuck roast and your rump roast, and and you'll still get uh, your good stew meats and all kinds of good uh, cuts out of there. Everything else is going to be good. It's just going to be stuff like your sirloin and your um, and your uh, really the only steak that's worth having still is usually the flay. I always tell the butcher to. Uh, check out the flay, and if it's worth keeping, then I'll tell them to keep it. Otherwise, I grind it. 95% uh, of the time, the flay is still good, but everything else is, you know, it's, it's below par. It's not, it's not as tender with an older mama, uh, but it is cheaper. So it's a really good way to fill up your freezer. You won't know the difference at all uh, as far as the ground beef, you know, the chuck roast, all your roast, and all like that. But there is that steer that's a grass-fed, grass-finished steer. That one is available as well. Um, it's going to be really good beef. Our prices have not been effect, uh, uh, affected yet by inflation. Uh, they, we have not raised our prices at all. We've been, we could have, I mean, everybody else raised their prices, but we never did yet. Uh, these are going to be the last two. After this, the price of hay has gone up, the price of diesel, so the price will go up next year. So these are, this is the last chance to get in on this uh, cheaper beef. Uh, anyway, so guys, the link is in, this, in the description. Contact me with that email. Let me know if you're interested. Thank you so much, everybody.